Hey everybody. I've been working on a steady cam. Been wanting one for a while. I've seen the Merlin. I can't afford it. Who can? <laughs> Love to have it, but just can't. Uh, just can't do it. Um, so I've been w trying to make my own. Looked at a lot of stuff online. There's a lot of great DIYs out there. This is my first DIY, so bear with me if it's not as smooth and fluid as as most would like it to be, but do my best. So I've uh, worked with a lot of different incarnations here. This is my final handle assembly. One of the early arms I've built. Conduit PVC, easy to do. I've uh, been through skate bearings and such. Traxxas U joints. Um, and I think that I've come up with my final design. I'm really, really happy with this. So I'm going to try to walk through how I how I built this. This is naturally, I think, the most important part. Uh, the balance of a steady cam uh, being one and a very smooth, almost frictionless sort of handle assembly U joint bearing slash thing. So what we did was, and I borrowed a lot of these ideas from other people online, and I'll give credit to Fallen Leaf, Free Robot Sex, YB2 Normal, and WSC Later. All of them have uh, great designs online, and obviously a couple of them have the ability to uh, machine their own parts, uh, and I, I just don't have that ability. Gotta, gotta buy stuff off the shelf, modify it where I can. So, uh, flashlight local uh, discount store. Again, borrowed all these ideas from other people here. That is for the uh, main handle. Gutted it, put a wooden dowel in it, something to screw into uh, to uh, put the rest of the junk into. Uh, so that works out real well. Nice little compact shape, easy to grip, hold on to. Um, I put a washer uh, over the top of it uh, just to clean it up. I haven't attached it yet, glued it down, but just to clean it up so you don't see the wooden dowel. As far as the U-joint itself, I uh, started out with a Traxxas U-joint. A few people out there have used that one. It was it's plastic. Uh, it, it was fine. It just didn't have the range of movement that I wanted, and it uh, just didn't seem quite as fluid. I uh, looked at a couple other designs, and a couple of the guys used this U-joint here. Uh, it's an Ofna U-joint, model number 15100. This is a very, very nice U-joint, completely metal, stainless steel. It's got a 5 millimeter ID hole there with a set screw, 6 millimeter spindle on the other side with a flat notch keyed in it. So it's uh, just really perfect for, for this application. The escape bearing is uh, the first thing I used, and it just had a little bit of too much slop in it, and didn't. Uh, oh, I could have clamped it down and made it work, but uh, nope. Uh, so another guy got these bearings off eBay. When you order bearings and you're looking for bearings, the very first number is the ID, the second number is the OD. So uh, since we have a six millimeter spindle on the U joint. You want to find a bearing that's got a six millimeter ID on it. There really isn't a very large, nice bearing that has a small ID of six millimeters, evidently. So uh, this little one was found here, and it's flanged. So I'll show you why that really works perfectly. Um, is because you get a larger bearing that has a ten millimeter ID. And the OD of 10 on this, again, this is a 6 by 10 by 3 flanged sealed bearing. 6 by 10 by 3 flanged sealed bearing. And it fits in the 10 millimeter ID of this uh, 10 by 35 by 11 bearing bought off eBay. This is a VBX 6300 RS bearing. This one here, I don't know the model number. Again, I just found it off eBay, but it's a 6x10x3 sealed flange bearing. A uh, packet of 10. I got the uh, flange bearings. Got two of these things here. And it just fits in there perfectly. 
and you put one on each side and when you do that it is just perfect and it fits on that spindle with, like I said just hardly any slot and it is extremely smooth for no mass being around this as you can see it spins pretty effortlessly I put another like I said I got a packet of ten of these things I put a sit another little ten millimeter bearing on the six millimeter spindle I'm trying to get the right distance here uh, just to raise it up a little bit and put that on there perfect bought this little lock, uh, lock collar here local hardware store and parts there nuts and bolts quarter inch lock collar again get a set screw and it fits around the six millimeter spindle pretty good and it's got a little bit of slot but once you lock that thing in it's it's on there perfectly so that's how the u-joint assembly is is done we then just took a 5 16 wood lag bolt drilled a pilot hole in the in the wooden dowel 5 16 lag bolt cut off the head of it put a grinder to it and tapered it down to where it would fit in the five millimeter hole here and then we ground a flat spot on the uh, lag bolt once we tapered it down ground a flat spot on it to catch for, so the set screw would catch onto it and again very 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 smooth there's no mask on that at all once we put the base plate assembly and the arm on this uh, it's going to work I think very 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 well I wanted to point out that naturally you know this is this design people whatever whatever you guys want to use for this handle and this spindle here is com completely up to you but uh, I think the most important part of it is is really this u-joint so I just wanted to point out that whatever you use to go through the female end of this u-joint just be cognizant that the the five millimeter hole of this does go completely through it all the way so whatever you put through there if you're not aware that it could slip down or don't you know just be careful that you don't want to impede the hinging ability of the u-joint as I mentioned I, uh, I do have a friend that helped me design a great amount of this and is actually helping me design the the final base plate uh, design that we're using we're making it out of a uh, out of plastic ABS plastic Kip Carver at the reality shop uh, he's got his own website realityshop.com does have some of his better stuff shown at Kip Carver Dot com, but he's got 24 years of experience in uh, three-dimensional design. He can print three-dimensional uh, objects out of ABS plastic. Uh, he really knows what he's doing when it comes to that. So uh, I'll post a link to his uh, his site uh, in the description, as long as uh, as well as a list of the parts that I used for this. So uh, he was uh, very instrumental in helping me design this and uh, the refinement of it as well and uh, the uh, final base plate assembly as well when that gets done I'll show you how that turned out so, again I think this is one of the most crucial parts for a steady cam is a nice fluid handle assembly uh, that's very very frictionless and then once you uh, design your own base plate and arm that will come next I'll post a video on that um, and should work fairly fairly nicely so good luck